Well, guys, the cyberpunk pile up just keeps on piling up. People are fed up with the cyberpunk situation. We've been following it around very closely the last week or two. Uh, since the launch of the game, CD Projekt Red has just screwed up their reputation. They cannot do anything right at this point, whether it's the whole keeping the console you know, reviews away from YouTube before the launch because they didn't want anybody to blast how poorly the game performed on PS4 or Xbox One or just sticking to PC reviews only, trying to do this stupid embargo. We told you guys. All of you guys tried to attack some of us that tried to say something was weird. You know, RGT, Dreamcast Guy, myself, we were all pointing out something was not right. And a lot of people tried to dislike us, attack us, make videos about it, saying we were wrong, that we didn't know what we were talking about. Well, I'll take the apology if you guys have it. Anyways, all jokes aside, things are not looking good. In fact, investors are looking into suing CD Projekt Red for Cyberpunk 2077's materially misleading information. So there's a lot of stuff that CD Projekt Red promised that they... Uh, didn't come through with in regards to this game so it says cyberpunk 2077 has turned out to be a big pile of mess for cd project red and more trouble is potentially brewing on the horizon with some furious investors so a class action lawsuit will be filed against cd project red as indicated by a law firm the briefing that was published by mikolaj orzovchowski a Warsaw-based lawyer and CDPR investor has indicated that the investors are exploring the possibility of suing, alleging that the studio may have re misrepresented itself to investors in order to secure funding. It invites all those who are affected by the suspension of the sale of the Cyberpunk 2077 product. So, investors are not happy. They're making a lawsuit. I mean, at this point, <laughs> how much lower can it get for CD Projekt Red? Um, you know, with, with everything that's going on, I've even heard rumor that Sony feels that CD project red lied to them, that Microsoft feels like CD project red lied to them, that they promised that the games would be able to run on the Xbox and Sony PlayStation on launch date. And they failed to mention that it was not going to be, um, playable that there was not going to be glitches that the game breaking glitches weren't going to be there they basically misrepresented that the game was ready now the game is off of both of the stores people are demanding refunds uh people are not happy overall even with the hot fixes even with the promises of you know next gen upgrades and more glitch patches coming people are not happy people are beyond upset it's going to be a big hole for CD Projekt Red to climb out of. Somebody tried to tell me that they were going to be just fine, that it wasn't impossible, but no. You got lawsuits coming up on top of it. You got the game being pulled out of stores. You had the reputation of CD Projekt Red being uh, basically just tossed aside, and you have investors not happy. I don't know what it was that CD Projekt Red did. Were they too cocky for their own good? Did The Witcher 3 make them feel like they were unstoppable? Did they... I don't know. They crunched, you know, employees to work more than overtime for weeks on this. The red flags were here. And, 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 you know, if you had employees crunching their time to work on the project and it still was not ready, what was another delay? I know that they were supposedly getting death threats. I know people were complaining and saying they needed to release it. And that's the problem. All right. I'm going to play devil's avocado here for a minute. Because this is CD Projekt Red, I'm not defending them. They were entirely in the wrong for everything that they did. For not allowing consoles, you know, console reviewers to review the game. To not allowing people to show footage of console. To hiding the fact that it was PC reviews out. To showing their own B-roll footage for reviewers. For basically just lying and hiding that console versions were not ready. Or up to par of what was expected from them. But I will say this. All this could have been avoided by CD Projekt Red if they were just upfront and honest. But it also could have been avoided if gamers didn't act so entitled at times. All these people that were sending death threats, being absolutely impatient, 
to CD Projekt Red, basically forcing them against the wall to stop delaying the game. Let's be honest, hindsight's 2020. You guys are upset now, but if they would have delayed the game and made sure it ran properly, you would have been upset anyway because they delayed it. And that's the problem that lies within this situation is that you guys that were complaining about delays after delays after delays were not happy. You were demanding that the game got released now. And that's what we get. We get an unfinished product that cannot run even on the consoles it was created for. It was created for the PS4 and the Xbox One, and it's virtually unplayable. For God's sake, there's a CD uh, Project Red Cyberpunk Xbox One out there that can't even run the game it was modeled after. How ridiculous is that? This situation is a hole that they're definitely not going to be able to climb out of, guys. Their, their reputation is wasted going forward. I'm serious. So let's continue the article. It says, New York-based Wolf Haydenstein Adler Freeman and HERS LLP has also announced it is looking to represent shareholders who incurred losses resulting from allegations that CD Projekt may have issued materially misleading info to their shareholders and investing public. So basically these law firms are saying they lied about it. They misled people to make it think that the product was something that it wasn't. So it goes on to say CD Projekt Red has already faced a lot of backlash over the launch of their game and had to offer refunds for PS4 and Xbox One users, which in turn led to the delisting of the game on the PlayStation Store. The developers are still continuing to update their game and have just released a new patch to resolve many of the issues that were experienced by the players. It's a little too late. Too little, too late, guys. They will release two major updates to the game in January and February, although there's no timeline on when the game will be relisted again on the PlayStation Store. So, a lot has been going on, guys, in the last week or so since the launch of this game. And it's not pretty. I know I've, I'm have i pretty much beating a dead horse here covering everything about this game. <laughs> pretty much, but it just keeps piling on and piling on. This is bad. I personally enjoyed the game, gave it a 7 out of 10 out of the Series X version of it, but there's no excuse for how the PS4 and Xbox One games are working out. There's no excuse for what CD Projekt Red had. This, this was a disaster. This is probably going to live on... For years, people are going to be talking about how big of a failure this was. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. As always, I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.